Zeke the Antique Freak. We're working on a Bobcat 642B and the uh, it has the 4G32 Mitsubishi engine. Uh, the thing is from the late 80s. I've never checked on the exact date. The timing marks were quite confusing. I wanted to check the timing marks for, for other reasons and I found them uh, quite confusing and the documentation not much helpful. So here's what I found. There's a timing pointer here and there's a very faint mark. It's not a punch mark or anything else. I've marked it with, uh, perhaps you can see it, I hit it twice with the file and there's a little line there. When that is lined up with that pin, the piston, if you rock it back and forth with the wrench either way, uh, the piston will be at the top and it'll rock over center and whatever, so I'm, I'm, I'm certain that uh, by having a small screwdriver or a heavy piece of wire or something in the cylinder you can check that uh, that mark with this mark to make sure that the piston is top dead center. So when that happens, so what I've done is rotate the engine so that I've got compression on number one cylinder just using my finger and the spark plug hole. Now there's a timing mark up here and it turned out that it's uh, I've got it that set correctly. I've made this yellow, there's a little dot on the gear and there's a little tiny little slash or a dash on the tin there and that that lines up so I'm, I'm happy with those two marks. Now there's three marks on uh, on this pulley. There's one I found, this uh, one here with the yellow stick. Uh, there's one on the front here with the uh, uh, let's get that in focus. There we are. There's a dot on there that for no certain purpose. I'll take the wrench off I won't bother putting the front cover on to demonstrate this. You'll see uh, there's an offset between that yellow mark and there's a, there's a cut line in the pulley itself there. So just ignore the dot and then if you put this on in this position that's where that goes. This slash mark on that pulley will line up with the, uh, with the index for the timing on the, on the front cover. So anyway that was quite a bit of confusion. Too many marks, too little brains. Zeke the Antique Freak, over and out.